Alrighty, so on today's video, we're finally throwing on my side skirts. Forgot what these are called in my front lip. Now, if you guys remember in my last video about my car, we had threw on my coilovers and then also have Lance here for emotional support. Yep. And then if you remember my other video, we had threw on Lance's exhaust. He's Very enjoying nice. it. Very nice. So yeah, so this is what today's video is about. Uh, we had gotten sidetracked in the last video. So that was what that last video was supposed to be, but putting my side skirts on finally is what we're gonna do today. So first things first, we're gonna go throw these on, mark everything up, make sure they all line up, and then we'll finally possibly be able to start drilling and getting everything on fully. Alrighty, so here's the whole car with everything on. Car looks dramatically different. Back end looks like you got a BBL. The front bumper looks like you just got a lip job done. And uh, yeah, now after looking at everything and mocking it up, gotta rip everything off now. Right there, throwing it on. And then finally throw the car on jack stands cause Gotta take off the wheels and then take off the wheel weld in the front and then we'll go from there. Alrighty, so I just got done marking the insides where I have to cut off on both side skirts and then I got done marking the front points. Don't mind the extra markings. Better than I got the back marks too and the. Now that I have got all the wheels off. You go and start drilling. For now, I'm going to pause everything because it's getting pretty late. And then uh, whenever you see him and then me again, which will probably be in like two seconds. We're going to be making out. Why not right now? Hey. Yeah, hey, 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 hey. Nah, but I'm joking. No, but, uh... <laughs> nah, uh... But yeah, see you guys in a little bit. Alrighty, this is day two. Getting back at it. Already started drilling some holes. But uh, basically today, I'm just trying to finish up everything. Hopefully get my all my side skirts on and my rear skirts or rear spats, whatever they're called. I can't remember what the freak they're called. And then lastly, I'll throw on the front lip. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got for now. Just enjoy me throwing everything on. I swear to God, we just live here, man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm keeping this business yeah. in business with all the money I'm spending. Well, you gotta get under glue. Yeah, y'all wanna see what Eric takes from me? Wow. And called me gay. What? Did you not see what you just said? I'm trying to help you out. Alrighty, time to get out of here. I'm spending too much money and I don't even got none. Hey man, let's go. It's time to dip. Uh man, you ready? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna drill into the car for the first time. She huh? look, she look, uh, no holes, you know. It look good, I promise. Alrighty, so had to get a little bit of help to get these drilled in. And uh, everything's pretty flush for the most part. Now, the seat ain't gonna be like this forever. There's obviously a couple parts that I need to go and fix and tidy up and sand down, but it's on and secure. I could probably go drive with this now once I drop the car and stuff, but yeah, it looks pretty good. 
<laughs> I hope you guys think this looks pretty good too. But yeah. Now we're on to doing the next side. And hopefully this side goes way better than this side. But yeah. Let's get to it. This by far has to be the most painful thing to see. But it has to be done. <laughs> So now that we got the passenger side all flushed, we went back over here and had to readjust driver side side skirt. And like I said, obviously there's gonna be a couple spots that are still gonna need to be filled or fixed and adjusted. So, but for the most part, everything's all flush. And then now I can Start throwing these on. First things first. Well, I already did, but they were, they were self tappers right here. And I'm gonna throw these on and just mark where those holes are. So yeah. Mm. Ooh, that shit did good as hell. Well, I could say that because this was way easier than putting on the the side skirts because for being a bitch but it looks way better with these on facts this isn't even funny at this point this is literally my fourth trip probably going to the auto parts store and the reason we're going again is because the self tappers that I got are too short I hate my knife me and Mickey's a lot. I hate my life a lot. So now I'm back from the auto parts store. Got all the like self tappers that I need and stuff. Finish up the back uh, skirts or whatever. And then hopefully we'll be done with those today. And then we can start the front lip right now. So after going to the store multiple times, I finally got myself a self tapper that actually works. Now this thing, obviously there's, like I said, there's gaps. They're gonna get filled. We're gonna fix that later. We finally got the back skirts on or whatever. Now I can finally go and work on the front lip after I don't know how Long I've been trying to get this done. I can finally work on it. Drill in the middle right here. This one. Alrighty. Hopefully that works. Ow. <laughs> Alrighty, so. Day three of trying to toss this front lip and everything on we had already got the side skirts on the back skirts or whatever the fuck they're going because i can't remember but so we were gonna finish this the other day but we were trying to create rivets to put in these little brackets and the rivet set tool that i had bought in uh that the size that we were using ended up snapping on us and it literally killed my motivation for the rest of the day um but hopefully today we'll just do what whatever we can and hopefully get this shit done because i don't think it should have had taken three days but i i mean i also had work but we'll we'll get this done and i'm not tripping it'll look good in the end and then we could go and show it off or something so just to catch you guys up on what we were doing for the front lip um we created these brackets and it goes onto the front lip and we created these holes also so the brackets can go in but we created this hole so we can hide the brackets so they won't be exposed but the second thing is about that is um now the way we will have to set the uh, front lip 
the screws are too small. So now I have to rent to the store to get bigger screws and also to get that um, little rivet set piece like these. So then I can finally squish down that rivet and make it stay in place. Went to Lowe's to pick up these one inch screws, same size as uh, the ones that I had before. And then this, I just had to go exchange it. Luckily I was lucky enough to find one. And hopefully my luck isn't as bad as last time. And we can finally finish up everything and nothing breaks on us. Now I'm not trying to jinx myself, but I'm also just hoping. So now both brackets are pretty good. Both the rivets are in. If it focuses, I, you guys can see it. But yeah, both of them are good. I can toss them in on the front lip. But before we even do the front lip and try to throw it on the car, um, there's a couple areas that we have to trim down so it fits perfect. Then hopefully we can toss it on by tonight. Boom, now everything's all marked up. Might not be the prettiest. But everything's marked up. So now I can go and cut off all the extra parts that are stopping the front lip from being basically flush. And then, like later on, like I said, with everything else, we'll fill in all the parts that either have holes or just like decent gaps in them. Everything will, will be fine later on, hopefully. <laughs> now I can finally say that I've thrown everything on. Here's the lip. Looks good. It flows with the uh, side skirts and rear skirts. And, uh, yeah. Now, sooner or later, my fenders will come in, which is... Hopefully next month, so I could replace this one. But uh, damn, that thing looks nice. So uh, now that I got everything on, I can just go do a quick cinematic and show you guys everything. So this is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed me throwing everything on. Um, it was very stressful. I didn't think it was would have been that hard. But try to be perfect. And when you try to be a perfectionist, everything goes wrong. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I have my little inspector checking everything out. But uh, yeah, until next time, like and follow for more. And see ya.